What is best in life? Today we join uh, the Emir Alandin Elg the Young. I think I'm only about 16 years old, uh, 18 years old, and I am trying to rebuild the Moose Jaw Satrapy, uh, or Sultanate, I mean, and uh, that's this area here. I hold enough territory, what I don't have is enough piety. And I am not very familiar with playing as a Sunni ruler, and I'm having some difficulty uh, managing my piety score. I am a Hajij. I've made the Hajj to Mecca, so that's uh, plus 0.1. I'm humble, so that's plus 1. I have a water clock from China, which is 0.5. My learning is uh, reasonable at 11, so that grants me 0.5. But I'm attacking fellow Sunnis all the time, so that's granting me negative two a month. My piety from buildings is only plus 0.1, and vassal buildings is plus 0 0.01, so that's almost nothing. And my technology is 12.5%, and I don't really have enough points to expand that. And so I may have to play a game on the defense. I am in the middle of a war to conquer. Hopefully this uh, two remaining bits of this emirate. Uh, the Emirate of Dehistan, I hold Dehistan itself, but uh, Karakum and Ustert, I am at a war, I am in the midst of a war for those two territories, that's why I'm losing the piety, and then I will uh, actually probably try to have to hold off for a bit and let my piety build up and then form the Sultanate. So we'll get the uh, clock ticking and see if I can get my army over here and sieging down. I already have the 51% war scores. I think I beat up on his army last episode. Uh, as I retired to my chambers, I was shocked to find a copy of the Slavic legends on my bed. At first I thought someone had left it with the intention to frame me, but then I noticed a little note on the top of the open tome. I think you will find this interesting. Please give it a chance. Signed, a friend. Intriguing, I guess a little red cannot hurt never i will hide it where no one shall find it so if i gain the paranoid intrigue plus two diplomacy negative one uh just a 10 percent chance uh, actually yes oh the copy of the slavic legends i found in my chambers had been left open to the passage on the greater questions right and wrong the higher purpose the afterlife as i pondered the slavic perspective on these matters i found myself intrigued enough to continue reading i have been blind but now i see never have i read truer words secretly practicing the slavic religion reading this has reaffirmed my confidence in my own belief 25 piety that's fantastic i'll totally take the piety gain and a special tithe of 109 gold. Now I'm hoping this army is too small to actually successfully siege any of my holdings so that I don't have to call my army away to deal with it. And yes, I think it is too small to uh, besiege anything. And how is my... Ah, uh, my sieging is going splendidly. I will soon uh, hold... Uh, one of the holdings in Karakum. My wife is pregnant. And I already have a son. That's good. And that's one holding in Karakum. And I should look for uh, another wife. And I've been ignoring these message. A message about a point counselor offering me the title of of Marshall, absolutely, I will decline. I have been burned many, way many, too many times uh, for being a counselor in my Lord's kingdom. And I have four weak claims that can be pressed. The title grant committee law. The, I could press the Alamut, but Alamut is already my Claim Yetrachal. Where is Yetrachal when it's not at home? Claim Tripoli. That's quite the stretch. Um, 
Cling out of cash. Cash span. Okay. So I could claim that. Who holds out of cash span? And his liege only has seven thousand five hundred troops. How many can I muster up? I can muster three thousand. Uh, so that's a possibility. And who? Uh, let me see. And who is this guy? He's not a member of my dynasty, and he doesn't hold anything, hold any of my holdings, so I would have to grant him one of my holdings, which is uh, not such a bad idea. Um, this uh, Kuri, uh, Kur Sizadi. And where is Chaghanian as well? Cheek to move Chaghandian. That's way over here. Well, I suppose it's not that far away. And again, is this person defeatable? His liege is a child with 7,500 uh, 7, troops. Uh, it seems that my interest in paganism has come to the attention of one of its practitioners within the realm. We have met and have had the most fruitful discussions about theology and other matters and i have made a friend of my wife that's actually good why not be friends with your wife chaghadian uh, so that's so it is a terra and shell And she as well doesn't really, although she's married to my cousin. So does being married to my cousin make her part of my dynasty? Or if, if I acquired lands for her, would the heir become someone who is in my dynasty? I believe that's the case. So, if we go to... Okay, so he's a child. His liege is Samarat of the Bengal Empire. So he can raise 2,000 troops, but I can't go to war for him. Can I declare war? I have raised army levies. And uh, he can raise 15,000 troops. Oh, he's a part of the Bengal Empire. Ah, uh, well, I've made friends with my wife. That's always a good thing. A son was born. And another, uh, was just, just the one son? Yes. And I'll give him a martial education. In 
case we want to make him... Oh, and what's his religion? He's a Sunni. Again, we will actually... Ah. Reasonable martial skill, Seahawk. And I can't change. Yes, changes. So if I change this uh, message about arranged marriage, except. So this has been besieged. I only have a 95% low score. Stressed, which is not great. What is my focus right now? It's a business focus. So once I get done establishing a trade route, hopefully I can get some other uh, trust dangerous factions. I need to create my monthly balance is plus 10. Um, I write to you with shocking news. Wally Ahmad of Rostamarad tried to have me assassinated to make sure I wouldn't discover his plot to kill Asli Naradid, the Grand Vizier. He's my court physician. Uh, I will keep this information to myself. Oh, he's possessed. That's it's. You can't blame him. He's possessed. And now I have a 100% war score. So in force demands, what does this mean? I will gain the Mosque of Absheron. That's it. The Mosque of uh, Absheron. And Jujere holding war over Shivan has ended. I won the Satrapy. So did I win the entire, did I just win a Mosque? Is that it? Mosque of Asheron, Sheikdom of Deir Hastan, Karakum. The Emir is the Emir. The Emir is still the liege of the Caliph. A rumor about a spy sneaking around in my own castle was confirmed this morning when I caught him red handed. I am not concerned. Gain 10 piety. Behead him. Marshal plus 2. I will kill him with my bare hands. Uh, yes, let's see, uh, Marshall plus two versus 10 piety. What I'm afraid is if, uh, well, I'll take the piety gain. Now I'll slow things down here because our events will start flying fairly fast. And I guess I will, uh, start with getting my army, uh, back to its quarters and I have decadent relatives. Oh, I don't want to have to blow a hundred. Piety. Oh, straighten up, you impious fool. And let's see if this even works. So I've just lost my other uh, piety. My decadent kinsman, Alandon, refuses to change his sinful ways. I can declare him a kafir, which will give me a reason to imprison the degenerate. Um, unless there's an another way to get through to him. I am a better negotiator than this. I will make an attempt at convincing him. Oh, he's quick too, so it would be nice to give him a portion of my realm, a Landon, a Landon Zadi. I'll make him a special character because if he does lose the impious trait, if he does straighten up, he will never get back again. I cannot get through to my kinsman, a Landon. He is simply too weak and obstinate. I invoke Takfir and then I'll have to arrest him. That's a shame. He's quick, and it would have been nice. He only had one child. But I have to arrest him or I lose uh, piety. Now, what other uh, events will grant me... Um, grant me some piety? Uh, intrigue... I could compose a book. Observe random. Let the fast commence. Repay the thrifty loan. 
Ramadan is a blessed time for charity and kindness, and in that spirit, you could release the prisoners languishing in your dungeons, uh, lose one decadence, and gain 15 piety. But I can't because my vassal uh, know they are where they are belong. Oh, so I gain one decadence and lose 15 piety. Many in Gurgan have donated generously to provide for the poor during the holy month of Ramadan. The gold has been gathered in an urn, but when you approach to donate your share, your greedy nature results in your coin purse gaining weight instead of losing it. I gain decadence and lose piety. Oh. Lose 54 gold. I'll give uh, Sadak for my sins. And I hold a mosque, which is the prophet, may Allah honor him and grant him peace, teaches the importance of charity and good deeds, especially during the holy month of Ramadan. There are many poor in Gurgan who could be helped if you but parted with some of your treasury. Uh, very well, I will distribute a bit more money. And that's basically just gotten rid of the decadence that I gained from the Ramadan itself. And the Sunni Caliph Hassan has heard of me giving Sadak and sends his blessings. So I gain 25 piety, that's 103 piety. Mayor Durab approaches you and presents to you a request to buy a small plot of land in Gurgan. This is a hard decision to take since he promises to pay well for the gold. Um, gain 150 gold, lose 25 uh, prestige. Uh, yes, I will, and I'll take a hit to the castle tax for a while. The end of Ramadan approaches, and that means the holiday of El Fitur is upon us. The preparation for the planned feast to celebrate this have already been made, and now the time has come to invite your vassals to your path to your palace. What say you, Master? Uh, send out the invitations. Da, one no show, two no shows, three no shows. I wonder if they're the uh, Zoroastrians or if there's another reason they're no showing. Uh, the great banquet I ordered held to celebrate the end of Ramadan was a rousing success. The food was exceptional, the entertainment magnificent, and a great team was and a great time was had by all. And Eid Mubarak. So I gained a positive to my relations. Um, and I gained plus two stewardship because of my stewardship focus. Perhaps I should prevent a gift to my wife. Oh, another 53 gold? Sure, yes. I'll present that to my wife. And my fast and observance of the holy month of Ramadan has ended until next year. And are there any other... Why would I donate money to my liege? What would that gain me? So let me, uh, yes. Military, I'll disperse my levies. Caliph Hassan has transferred the vassalage of Sheikh Mahmud of Galan to Emir Land and Elg the Young. My vassal, uh, vassalage Sheikh Muhammad of Galan. So, that's great. What does he hold exactly? Oh, he conquered this territory from uh, the uh, Malhalids. That's great. I've got another uh, territory in, in the Jaws Satrapy. Now, what exactly do I need to create? I need... It will cost me 189 gold and 100 piety. I will create it, and I have created the Sultanate of Moose Jaws. Finally, I have created the Sultanate. I am slowly uh, climbing my way back to where I was several episodes ago. Um, and hopefully, and I have fulfilled my ambition to become King of the Jaws Sultanate. I am the Sultan. I don't hold the Duchy of Azerbaijan, which is this one that's held uh, partly by Byzantine. However, now would seem to be a time to go after Karakum and Usert. Uh, let me see here. He can only field 173 troops. He has no packs. Uh, I can field 4,000. 
and for now I'm a good Sunni at least. And yes, let's see if I can find a genius for a wife. I can't find a genius. And someone has transferred Emir Galib. Oh, great, he's the man I was just about to go to war with. So he has transferred that vassal to me. Um, great, so that's quick. Here's a 32 year old strong woman. I can set aside a wife and a special tax in Brigan. Uh Very well, I will try to marry the strong woman. And there's a Midas Touch woman with, she's 37 though, that's pretty old for a wife. An ambitious, oh, I thought it was the ambitious 25 year old. There's a 16 year old that's shrewd and gregarious and humble. Imr Hassan has usurped the title Emirate of Dihistan from Sheikh Ghalib the Just. All right, I think that's, I think I'm okay with that as long as they're all my uh, courtiers. Now, who is this princess, princess of Yemen? Um, she's 45 though, so she, she won't be having any more children. Uh, homosexual 17 year old with the claim on Karkush. Uh, actually, Pick an ambition, become a paragon of virtue, gain one learning, 100 positive piety, moral authority, and Caliph Hussein would uh, gain a favorable opinion of me. Acquire a title, become a counselor. I think I will take the groom and heir and increase my fertility and try to again grow my family, even though unfortunately I'm growing. And he's about to. Uh, I will decline your offer of commander. Thank you very much. And I could donate 200 gold to my liege, but I just don't see the point in doing that. The Yazidi, Yazidi heresy has appeared. So I've lost a Zoroastrian territory. But I can't use my Aman to convert people to... Yes, I can't use him to convert people to Zoroastrianism, obviously. I need to get a son with... Uh, Zoroastrian. Uh, his guardian is a Zoroastrian, right? Yes, so hopefully he will uh, become Zoroastrian. And who's my heir at the moment? Yes, my son, heir to the Jaws Sultanate. All right, so I've got two, I've got three wives, and I can't get a genius. Is there... News from China, the status quo in China is over. Popular uprisings have broken out in Chengdu and large groups of disgruntled peasants have taken up arms. Led by a group of rogue gentlemen scholars, trade has been halved along the Silk Road and China will not be able to defend its tributary states. That's interesting. So how is this gonna affect my income? My income was fantastic at plus 18. Now it's going to decline. And I even my piety was pretty good because I owned a mosque in my Demesne, so that was an extra point. Well, it was just an extra point too. Um, my humility and my water clock were doing me more good and my learning. Um, so my trade, I will see if I can search. Is one of these filters of wives I'm searching for women? Uh, my religion group. Uh, I will search all. Not married, diplomatic range, not my dynasty. That's why it was so low. Now, let's see if I can find a genius who might put up with me. There's a 64 year old genius. A quick. So there's plenty of quicks, but will they? Okay, she would come. Um, arrange marriage. I will marry this quick woman. Uh, Mayor, the Mayor Vistap has some interesting ideas on how to improve the economy. Great. Technological spread rate. 
a great, a lustful, quick 18 year old, charitable, zealous, just, lustful. As long as she doesn't cuckold me too often, that'll be great. Oh, and here's a 17 year old who's. And I can't arrange marriage anymore, can I? Darn it, that's my last marriage. I could have had a quick and an attractive with diligent. Ah, uh, shows you I shouldn't jump the gun like that. And here's a 41 year old who still has a couple of years in her where I could have tried to have the kid with her as well. Well, uh, so how do these wives like me? Oh, she, why does she like me so much? Uh, oh, right, we're friends. Attraction to strong, tang arm protector, sex appeal, point 10. Uh, she likes me 63, fulfilled marriage wish, attraction to strong. Uh, she likes the hajij and my prestige. I'll give her a gift. So that boosts her to 100. She only likes me nine. Oh, she's zealous and she doesn't like my sympathy for pagans. Oh, and she's Shia. Can I demand a religious conversion? Not yet. If I send her a gift. Now can I demand a religious conversion? Yes. And that will slowly uh, get rid of our religious differences. And then she is still uh, young enough. If I send her a gift, there, she likes me. So when she eventually, she's still 12. So it's three more years and four more years and we'll get married. Uh, my kinsman would like to invite me for a small gathering of friends. Of course I will come. And I have an open council position, my marshal. Now, is there any powerful vassals that would uh, peace be with me? She will convert to the sunny faith. That's great. So the sheik, he's uh, he's got an eight. He's got a twenty-three intrigue. I really should keep him happy. And the sheik of Tabriz um, is dying of cancer, so he's not going to be an issue. The Sheik of Quavir, uh, he doesn't like me very much. Uh, news from China, the Emperor, the Son of Heaven, has died. Like his predecessor, the new Emperor is known to believe in an open China, apparently he takes a special interest in Manicheans, but frowns on Indian cultures. Business as usual then. So there's a 43-year-old Zoroastrian, that's probably why he doesn't like me. Heir educated with foreign culture, wants seat on council. I'll give the guy with the high intrigue the marshal position. Yes, there. Now he likes me, so now he probably is much less likely to conspire against me. And there we go. Now, what to do next? Um, I guess to acquire some more lands... I would like to acquire them in Persia, but I hold all of the lands in Persia that, um, oh, actually there's some lands over here. Uh, so there are these lands down here, one of which I think is one of these. No, I think this is the uh, holy site of Zoroastrianism. Zoroastrianism. So it was a bull stand. We'll, I'll try to make that um, my next conquest target. I will dispatch my Grand Vizier to fabricate claims. And Zabulistan. I've arrived at the private rooms of Sheik Jaws. Two titles can be created, uh, Kurdistan and Tabriz. I don't need them yet, as my uh, uh, Demesne size is still not overflowing and my vassal limit is still great, so I will not create those titles as it will just make uh, people demand uh, angry because I won't hand it to them. And a message about invite to plot, fabricate a claim, how do I know you? Uh, I guess I'll accept your plot. Why not? The reveling and carousing is over for now. Time to get back to real life. Well, it was fun. A, fantastic. I even lose... Oh, 30% chance of lose the trait. Stressed. Uh, 
A shooting pain strikes your chest after a moment of agony. It passes for now. Well, we'll leave it there for this episode. Uh, we've had too much good news in a row. Too many. Uh, I've reformed the Sultanate of Moose Jaws and have acquired uh, the and maintained control of the Sultanate. I have a healthy income, despite my not holding directly the uh, two other trading posts, which I'd like to acquire on the Silk Road and hold them directly in my Demesne. Instead, I have a mosque, which has helped me with my piety problem. So I am now prestigious and uh, barely pious and not very well. I still have a 50% decadent problem, which I will have to uh, try to go about reducing. And I have had to imprison one of my quick relatives instead of granting him land. I imprisoned him because, alas, he was a decadent fellow. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If it's your first time here, consider hitting the subscribe button and the little bell so you get notification of my other videos. And have a good day.